campus and Northwestern try to make efforts to avoid disruptions during their college graduation ceremonies. Other universities had to contend with pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel protests during what is supposed to be a joyous occasion for graduates. There were small but vocal demonstrations earlier this month at Cal Berkeley's graduation and in the nation's capital, George Washington University's commencement also featured protests. It's something that has caused a Yale alum to stage a protest of a different kind. To tell us more about that, let's bring in Katrina Lantos-Sweat, president of the Lantos Foundation. Katrina, welcome back. Good to have you on again. Uh, you recently wrote an op-ed in Real Clear Politics entitled, Why I'm Skipping My 50th Yale Reunion. Tell us more about that. Yeah, well, like many alumni, I was really looking forward to what is obviously a very notable milestone. But I felt as I watched the um, explosion of anti-Semitism on Yale's campus, obviously echoed on uh, dozens and dozens of campuses around the country, that I couldn't simply shrug my shoulders and go and have a good time with my friends from, uh, from those bright college years, but that I really needed to speak out about a culture that has been coddled and nurtured and normalized um, on so many of our great college campuses and other institutions, a culture that is um, tolerant of and shrugs its shoulders at really um, horrifying anti-Semitism. Yeah, and I know um, that you place some of this type of culture on college campuses, at least in part, on school administrators and the leadership there. Talk to us more about that. Yeah, well, you know, students are going to be and do what they want to be and do, but we look to the leadership of a university or any institution to set a moral tone and to demonstrate some moral courage. And I think that that's been sadly absent. I really do. Um, you know, in my op-ed, I say, where are the ringing and unequivocal denunciations of this anti-Semitism and virulent anti-Zionism on the part of you know, presidents of universities. Why haven't we seen um, the president of Yale University or other such institutions walking in solidarity with their Jewish students um, and and showing that kind of moral courage? So, you know, obviously the initial responsibility lies with the students and the professors and others engaging in what I consider to be deeply anti-Semitic protests. But, uh, but you know, you have to follow it a little further upstream. And I think that, as I say, a culture um, has been encouraged and nurtured and tolerated. And now we're kind of weeping, reaping that whirlwind. Yeah, and Katrina, I mean, I know you've talked a lot about anti-Semitism, the rise in it since October 7th, you know, here in the United States and around the world. Yeah. Um, but did you ever think that you would see this, you know, in institutions of higher learning, like your alma mater, Yale? No, I, I didn't. You know, I myself am the daughter of two Holocaust survivors, so I'm very um, passionate and sensitive uh, around these issues. And um, I was beginning, of course, to sense how greatly the culture had changed. I'm an adjunct professor at Tufts University, and I've noticed in recent years that sometimes after class, my Jewish students would come to me privately and individually and say, you know, your class feels a little bit like an island of safety and sanity in what is a very hostile environment. And so somehow academia has become a a very toxic environment for people who are of Jewish heritage, people who strongly support the survival and the thriving of the only Jewish homeland in the world. And, you know, my family experienced personally what it meant when Jews globally sort of were thrown on the mercy of others in the Holocaust, and that mercy did not extend to them. And we know what the results of that were. And so this is so troubling to me and so heartbreaking. But I think we have to find our own backbone and our own moral courage to stand up and say, this is not acceptable. And uh, for me, that meant a very small sacrifice in terms of giving up a, uh, an event I had looked forward to for many years, but also speaking out. And I have been heartened by the number of fellow classmates who have reached out to me to say, you've expressed what I've been feeling. A lot of them said they also won't be going and others said they were going, but they agreed with me and, uh, and intended to try and raise these issues. And Katrina, thank you so much for speaking to us about all this. We appreciate it, God bless you. It's been my pleasure, thanks for having me.